Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching The Promised Neverland Season 2, Episode 11. Um, this episode's up a bit later today just because I was busy around the time that it came out. I apologise about that. Um, looking forward to seeing how this is going to end this season. Um, I'm not... I haven't seen whether, you know, any kind of announcement or anything has been made for a potential Season 3 yet. I don't know. Um, without knowing how the manga has gone, and obviously that doesn't matter anymore, um, it really does seem like it's kind of coming to an end point, which is a bit confusing because of we're only at the end of season two and this is a big story. But I'm just going to see how it's going to go and uh, look forward to seeing where the story goes. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. So um, yeah, anyway guys, as always, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's get into the episode right now. I like Emma's belief in what she does and what she can do or hasn't done yet, but she just wants to create this anyway. That's his brother. Looks like Norman. It's a friend of our friend who fought alongside her. Okay. Right, okay. Why? Bro, save the world? Hmm. Don't know about that one. Yeah, and that's where he started leaving messages and stuff. Oh, and did you do something? Cars? Yo. Oh, what the fuck, man? You had your brother killed like that. Yeah, well fucking done. Good job. Oh, well, he's get he is dead, I guess. That confirms it. Yeah. Well, uh, good luck on believing that anymore, bro. Yeah, that's another thing as well. This is the whole demon world, but what happens in the human world as well? This is why I'm thinking, like, is this the end or is it a completely new challenge now making it into the human world? Like, because the pacing of the season just seemed so off. But I guess now having the human world kind of side of things means it can continue. I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh, my God. Jesus, bro. I mean, bro, if he wanted to die, pff, you saved everyone else. Who cares? Who cares, man? Ooh, who is this? Who is this, like, Queen of the Demons? Why? Yeah, what the fuck? Why do you not want to come with? Yeah, come with, come on. Because they're good kids, man. And you've proved yourself, no? You, you've saved them. All right, fair enough. Yeah. yeah if uh, all of our kind moments were real, then... Fair enough. Yeah, literally, their real parents might be, they might be dead, they might have just given them up because they don't care, so like, this is the closest thing to like a parent that they have. I'm proud of these kids, man, they're so, they're so grown, considering their age. It's going to be interesting to see the human world, I wonder like how how different it would look, or it's going to look to the, um, to the demon world, demon side of the world, sorry. Ooh, that's cool. Is it just like a gate sitting in the middle of the room? Is it like a pole? Pen. Yeah. Please let it be all good. What the hell is this? What's wrong? What? What? Why? You've got everyone here. Uh. What? Oh, is this what? Yeah, she did pull them aside for some reason, didn't she? Damn, I really wanted, wanted to get to see what the human world was like. Oh, so there are, there are more farms, and I thought it was just these ones that we'd already gotten kids from. Well, I'm kind of disappointed, because I did want to get to see the human world, but... Sure, I mean, now we have two avenues to go down, I guess, to... To save the kid, all the remaining kids in this world, and then go to the human world and sort that out. Yeah, to be fair, we were just introduced to the uh, queen and the nobles, weren't we? So that's an interesting avenue as well. Nice. Having these two along to help will help so much. They'll be able to change the demons along the way. Emma will be able to help them, you know. Legit. Yep. Yeah, and that's where these guys come into place. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh, are these two going to stay too? Oh, these two are going to look after the kids. Come on, kids. You've got a big role in this. God, they're all actually such good kids. Jesus. Oh, so Vincent's going over to the human world with them? Phil is so cute, man. Holy crap. 
Ah, so, okay, so Vincent is going along with them then. Oh. Oh, I thought Phil was going to go along with them then. Oh, Is this the ocean? Holy shit, okay, wow. The human world looks like ours. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting this. And are these people just... Are they cool with all the kids coming over? They seem to be. Bro, look at them. Oh, Isabella with her hair down. Yo, they're actually going to... This is really unusual to see in the Promised Neverland. Like, this regular, normal day stuff. Oh, look. Bro, he looks so cool. <laughs> I'm Vincent's a doctor. Nice. Who's this? Yo, is she growing older? Timescape? Timescape? What is that? Dragon demon. Okay, this feels like a lot of stuff that, that they're just kind of skipping over. And now they're at the palace? Like... Hmm. Yeah, uh, okay. It feels like the lot, a lot of the story is being skipped now. I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. They have gotten older. Why do they not look aged up then? Like Emma and that. And she kind of looks older, I guess. Right. I'm very confused. Um, from what seems... How that seems to have ended, it looks like the series... The story has ended. Um, so from what I'm trying to gauge from this is that... Uh... The original idea was that when they went over to the human world, they'd have trouble over there, and my thoughts would be that they were going to, obviously, they were just going to struggle when they're over there, and they're going to have a hard time fitting in, and the humans might not want them over there. And even if that weren't the case, and then they went over there, and, you know, they were able to fit into human society fine, I would was then thinking, okay, so what comes now in the story is that Emma and everyone um, will, you know, still work hard on this side, maybe meet the, whoever that dragon thing was, maybe that'd be an arc of the story, um, the, you know, Mujika and Sonju, she was being crowned or something, I don't know, that would be an arc of the story, meeting the queen and the nobles would be an arc of the story, but it just seems... A lot of story has just been skipped over. Um, I really don't know how I feel about that. Um, obviously, because of this and the way this story has gone in season this season, like obviously I haven't read the manga, so I don't understand why they've changed the uh, story at all. But like, I don't know how they could skip over so much story, considering like. I think I checked, like I went through the manga chapters the other day, just up to the point of where season one ended, just so I didn't spoil myself any further. And it was like chapter 30 something or something, I can't remember. And then there's like 180 chapters or something, I think, I don't know, uh, something like that. And I'm just, I'm just like, that's a lot of story to be in like 11 episodes, you know? So clearly a lot of stuff has been missed. Um, but because of this, I'm thinking of obviously uh, reading the Promised Neverland, the uh, the manga, seeing how it's actually supposed to go. Um, and you know, if you guys want to give me any information on what has happened in the anime that relates to it, without really spoiling too much of what happened in the manga, because I will be reading it most likely, then feel free to do that down below. Um, always you get to learn some kind of things, or maybe I've completely misinterpreted it, and, and maybe you know the anime will continue, and you know, just these events will maybe like get shown properly in a new season. I don't know. Either way, um, yeah, I uh, I really don't know how I feel about this season, and I think honestly, a lot of people's, a lot of people were disappointed with this season because of how much it's changed from the manga, apparently. But um, honestly, if I knew nothing about, if I knew nothing about, you know, the actual length of the series, you know, it's a popular Shonen Jump title, uh, that the stories change from the manga. If I knew none of that, and I just assumed it was a short story, I would give it, you know, like a. If it was, if I knew it was just a short story, and that was that. Give it like an eight, eight, and eight point five out of ten. However, this season I'd probably give maybe a seven out of ten because if that's how it's ended, ended with that pacing, I'm kind of disappointed considering how good season one was. But anyway, guys, 
that is that. I appreciate you guys watching the series along with me regardless of what your thoughts on it were. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.